This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. Three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets hanging around basically flat territory after being pretty dramatically in the green coming into the opening bell. Right now, we have the Dow. Let me pull it up. It's pausing for me. Dow basically flat. There we go. Come on, numbers. Dow, negative three points, trading 26,449. We've got the S&Ps negative by four, trading at 2902. And the NASDAQ negative by just one point, trading at 79. 98. The Russell leading the way on the way down. Russell negative 14 points, or almost a full percent, trading at 1568. Start things off. Let's check out the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow 30. So the slide to negativity began right at the opening bell. 930. The Dow is trading 26,508. We trade down to a low intraday 26,387, so more than 100 points to the downside. You're now sitting 26,445. NASDAQ 100, similar story. There's your opening bell bar, 77.32. We trade down to 76.80 briefly, currently back above 7,700, 77.02. S&Ps, we slide to negative territory as well. Open the market at 29.23. Did we make 2,900? No, 2,901. So we've stayed above that 2,900 price point for the day, currently trading at 2,905. Crude oil, we had a little bit of volatility at about 1030. There's that 1030 bar. We got EIA numbers, saw a draw of just more than 1 million barrels, pretty much in line with expectations. You have crude trading at 6412. Gold contract trading lower, 12.75.75, and euro US dollar just below 113, call it 112.96. In terms of what else you have happening over in the market, quite a day for Qualcomm, quite a day yesterday as they make a deal with Apple to get out of their lawsuit, make a deal that they will be supplying chips with them for the next maybe six years, and you have Qualcomm reached 82.52, so it's trailed off a bit, but it was trading yesterday at talk about $58. We're trading at 77.52. Quite a rise for Qualcomm. Apple, not quite the reaction, but up 1.5%. Netflix with their earnings last night, basically flat for the day, down less than 1%. Morgan Stanley with their earnings, bank earnings coming out well, 2.22%. And IBM on the flip side, down 36 but off of those lows. Stay tuned, folks. we got a man, Steve Rhodes, coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock and Larry Pesavento filling in 3 to 5 today. Have a great afternoon. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien...